Welcome back 6A. After we have finished the dangers of electricity, let's take how to deal with it. We are going to take the first aids when accidents occur as a result of electric current. Okay, or how to help an injured person or a harmed person due to electric current or due to electricity. Number one, insulate the injured person from the electric current. Insulate the injured person from the electric current. How? By disconnecting the electricity itself, okay, you can disconnect the electricity or push the person away using wood piece or plastic, which means you are using a bad conductor or an insulator of electricity in order not to get harmed yourself, okay? You a number one, insulate the injured person from the electric current, of course, okay, remove his body, push him away or disconnect the electricity itself to stop the harm, okay? To shorten the time of the horn. Number two, of course, call the doctor immediately. Call the doctor as soon as possible. Okay, call for help. Number three, keep the heart beats by pressing on the chest with the palms of your hand. Okay, you can see in the picture. You are keeping the heart beats of the person. You are keeping his heart going on and pumping by pressing on the chest using the palms of your hand, okay? Number four, this is in the hospital. Start artificial respiration immediately if the injured person can't breathe or cannot breathe, okay? Give a number four in the hospital, start artificial respiration immediately if the injured cannot breathe. Now, let's take the safety precautions when dealing with electricity or how to deal with electricity safely, okay, in order not to get harmed from the beginning, okay? Here in the safety precautions, we are going to mention exactly the opposite to the reasons of dangers of electricity, okay? Do you remember? We have taken the reasons for electric shock, the reasons for electric fire, and the reasons for electric burn. Here in the safety precautions, we are going to say the opposite of the reasons. Let's read together and you can... Tell what I'm saying. Number one, don't touch electric machines connected to electric current with wet hands. Of course, don't touch the electric machines with wet hands. Okay, touching the electric machines with wet hands was one of the reasons for electric shock. Five, uh, don't touch them. Okay, number two, don't insert metallic object in electric socket. Bardo, another reason for electric shock that you are trying to avoid. Don't insert metal object. Number three, don't play with electric connections. Stay away from electricity. Don't play with it. Number four, don't turn on many devices at the same time. To avoid a electric overload, do you remember it? Electric overload can cause a electric fire. Faiba avoided. Tab number five, don't use one socket for many devices at the same time. This is also electric overload that can cause a electric fire. Fabardo, we are trying to avoid it. Number six, don't touch uncovered wires or non-insulated wires. Okay, we have taken this before. Touching non-insulated wire can result in electric shock. Avoid it, don't touch it. Number seven, don't leave or use an electric device connected to the electric source in the bath, in the bathroom. Because the bathroom is, is filled with water. Water is a good conductor of electricity. So it's a, it can easily make the process faster. It can easily make electric shock happen faster and so on. Number eight, don't leave the electric cables on the floor or under the carpet. Okay, don't leave the electric wires kind of hanging on. Okay, in a messy way. Number ten, close the sockets with plastic pieces to secure them. Okay, you can see in the picture how to use plastic pieces to secure sockets. Okay, because plastic is an insulator for electricity. Number 11, unplug or disconnect the electric devices when the electric current is cut off to avoid the electric overload when the electricity is back. Okay, number 12, have an automatic safety switch that opens the circuit when there is a sudden overload. Okay, we all have this in our homes, by the way. You can see in the picture... This is an automatic safety switch. It opens, okay, to open the circuit to, a to cut off the electricity when there is an overload. That's it for this lesson. Uh, see you soon, inshallah.